Hey guys, this is Kevin. We're going to be looking into Isotope's RXA plugin today. Now, this is an audio repair and manipulation tool uh, that has a ton of components, you know, D esser, D reverb, D clipper, D everything. Uh, it, you know, can repair old audio. Um, but it also has a really cool asset called Music Rebalance, which can take any song or audio file from really ever and deconstruct it, uh, make instant acapellas, instrumentals. You can rip the vocals, you can rip the drums. Uh, the bass, and even, you know, guitars and keyboards and other things like that. Uh, so let's go take a look at it. I like to use Logic Pro. You can also use the standalone version of it, uh, and it works, you know, perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop in an audio file. Uh, let's start out with a simple song. Let's just do a country song because these are, um, you know, very simple. They have guitars, drums, vocals, bass, and usually a you know, keyboard or steel guitars, so, you know, some extra stuff. So... Uh, we'll drop this in. This is an Earl Thomas Conley song, Silent Treatment. Really cool song, very very simple, uh, but effective. Um, so this is the audio file, right? You just drop it in. And then in your plugins, your inserts, you're going to drop in the RX-8 rebalance tool. So um, I'll go and show you through the isotope. All these are different RX-8 plugins. Uh, D-reverb, D-hum, E-clip. It can repair almost any audio file that, that you need to. We're going to be looking at the rebalance tool. Now with Logic, they have this other one called ARA, and it, it, it's integrated with Logic Pro. It works pretty well. So you can see we open it up, and it's telling us that we're waiting to play this audio file. So it's going to analyze it for us. So we'll just click in here, and we'll just start playing. All right, so uh, that took maybe two minutes to do, if that. Uh, it's really quick, really quick process. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you just click play. Uh, the plugin will analyze it for you. It figures it out. Uh, I don't know how. It just uses spectral, a uh, spectrograph and frequency charts, I guess, to figure out uh, what are vocals, what are drums, and, and really just deconstruct them. So we're ready to go. Uh, now, when we play this back, the original audio file is there, but this plugin that's on it, right? We can manipulate the volumes of vocals, bass, percussion, and other. Now, other is just uh, keyboards or guitars. If there's any kind of weird sound effects that are in the song, it'll, it'll be in that little chart. So we can also solo each one individually, or we can just take it out completely. Uh, so let's just go ahead and let's hear the song, just solo isolated on the vocals. But I'm not asking questions. You can raise it up. Afraid that I might find out what's really wrong. So as you can hear, there's also some harmonies in there. Uh, the background vocals are also in there. You give me that side of treatment. Yeah, that's really good, right? It's super clean. And you don't hear any other instruments behind it. You might hear some weird frequencies because it's not perfect, right? Um, now, we can fix that later. But right off the bat, that's what you're hearing. It, it's really clean. Side of treatment. Right? And it cuts off. There's no instrument interference there. Uh, now, let's hear, for instance, the drums on its own. Right now, it's not super clean, right? But you can hear the part really well. Um, now, this isn't something you're going to want to strip off and make a sample of and make a new song out of, but it, it is really good to hear the part isolated or say you're uh, a vocalist and you want to practice along to the song, right? You can just take this, take out the vocals, and look, we're listening to basically an instrumental, right? Right, we can take the vocals in and out whenever we want to. As you can see, I didn't have any other effects on it. I didn't touch it. I just click play, and that's what's happening. It's insane. So let's go. Let's go back. Let's just listen to uh, each one on its own solo. Right. So we'll start here. You give me that sound. It's just guitars, piano. Here's just the bass. Just the drums. So as you can hear, it sounds a little funky, right? The tone of the bass isn't that good. Uh, you're getting a little fluctuations with the guitars and piano. Um, and that's just because, like I said, it's reverse engineering an entire, you know, 
frequency chart basically uh, and it has to strip out certain parts of so say you know the guitars and the bass overlap right it's going to be missing some frequencies so the tone isn't perfect but the execution of the plugin is basically flawless sometimes you'll get like a a guitar might like sneak into a vocal part a little bit um but like i said you can go in and fix that um pretty easily so yeah, that's in, that's crazy, right? That's right off the bat. That's that's the first song. So let's move on to a new song. Uh, let's try a different genre, and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so I just dropped in uh, a new song. This is All My Friends by Maddion. Uh, this is like a pop song, EDM. Uh, so it's a totally different genre, totally, totally different vibe. Let's see how it does. All right, so uh, I'm going to press play, and it, it recognizes that it's a new audio. I, I kept the same track. When I press play, it's going to reanalyze it. Okay, so that took about one minute, which is really fast for what this plugin is doing. It's crazy fast. Um, so this is, like I said, it's a pop song EDM, right? So it's got the vocals and everything else is synthesized. You have drums that are synthesized. Now they sound like real drums though. You have a synthesized bass and you know a lot of other colors that will be in that other. Um, so let's just go ahead. Let's just listen to some vocals real quick. Out right, so you hear it's a little synth kind of snuck in there. Now, to be fair, there are a ton of processing on these vocals. So harmonies, a lot of uh, like some maybe like phasers, vocoders, chorus, uh, all kinds of reverb. So uh, I can see how this is gonna kind of mesh with the synthesizers a little bit, right? Yeah, but it's super clean. It's super clean, right? We could also put on like a noise gate or we can actually go back into the spectrograph and, and pull out those frequencies if we want to make it perfect. Spend a little bit more time with it. But right off the bat, this is what we're getting, right? Um, let's move on in the song. Let's take out the vocals. Let's hear that. So this is the big drop. If you heard the song before, you know the vocals right here. Not even present at all. You can hear like a little bit of like a, a little... Um, Kind of like a, the reverb, the tail of like maybe like a vocoder or something. Mm, that's super clean. Uh, so let, let's just hear like uh, later on in the song, just drums and bass. Super funky, right? No vocals present at all. Um, very clean, very clean. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's listen to all these others. So I assume this, the other would be synthesizers there might be some guitar I don't know you can hear the drums are completely out of this track there's a keyboard right a lot of reverb I'm gonna turn it off here's the whole track Isn't that crazy how it picks up that? It's it's so clean too. Um, now obviously the quality of each track isn't perfect, right? But it is it is you cannot complain about that, right? You can hear all the parts very clearly, all the notes, everything that's going on. Uh, and like I said, I, I'm making pretty crazy adjustments. I'm soloing each track. I'm taking them out completely. But you can also just go back and say, hey, I want to little bo boost the bass a little bit. Um, do that. Hey, I want the drums to be a little bit softer. Do that, right? Um, I guess that it's just called music rebalance, but I doubt a lot of people use it for that. It's, it's a lot more of just isolating parts. And um, so far we've worked with country from like the 70s, 80s, right? And then we've worked with, uh, you know, 2010s modern pop song, right? And it's working flawlessly. Okay, so I just added one more song I want to look at. Um, and I want to show you some more techniques to how to clean up these mixes. So we're going to learn how to export each individual track that way we can uh, clean them up, we can add EQ, uh, and we'll show how to do that, how to make the vocals a little bit more better. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and analyze the song and check back in. Okay, so once again, it took about a minute and a half or so. Uh, very flawless. As you can see, we're working with Fleetwood Max. Go your own way. So a lot of you probably already know this song. If not, go check it out before we break it down. Um, hear the actual song first. It's, you know, classic, very, very, very good song. Um, 
Now, I wanted to do this one because one, it's, not, it's probably not going to be super clean, right? It's, it's a very dry, very natural recording. Um, and when we break it down, we can see how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, bounce these tracks. Bounce just means basically to export them um, into the four separate categories, vocal, bass, percussion, and other, and then we'll go from there. So how we can do this in Logic, you just solo the track, right? So we're soloing the vocals. Um, you can also just Command B real quick to bounce it. We can right click, bounce in place. Uh, and what this is gonna do is create a new audio file of whatever the process is. And the process right now is we're using RX8 just to take out the vocals, right? So we'll go here and we'll just rename this vocals. We're creating a new track and the source we wanna leave, the source is that original file, right? We don't wanna delete that. So we're bouncing it, just the vocals. So this is just the vocals, you can see it, it's pretty clean. All right, so now our RX plugin is basically useless. We ain't need it no more. So let's, let's go ahead, let's leave this for reference, um, but let's just go ahead and we'll put vocals up at the top, we'll put drums at the bottom. This is a pretty standard, vocals, guitars, bass, drums. Um, let's do that a little bit better. Okay, so as you can see our vocals, you can visually see where each phrase is, where the, the words are. Now, if we solo this, there might be some guitars that sneak in. Remember, it's not perfect, it's reverse engineering. Ever change things that I feel If I could, baby, i So as you can hear, there's a really high pitch in, in that I'm hearing, right? Now, this is probably from like leftover guitar or something. So let's just open up the EQ. Right, and let's just take out all of the extremes. So the really low end, the really high end. How can I ever change things that I feel? Right, so um, I'm talking like basically, um, here we go. Uh, you know, anything below like 20, 40, and anything above like 15K, we don't really need that. Um, now I'm gonna keep going because I, I was hearing a squeal, so I'm just gonna leave it at 8K. Because I'm not really worried about trying to like make the studio quality vocals. I just want it to be more clean, right? How can I ever change things that I feel? If I could. So you can hear there's also some weird little pops, maybe like right before the vocal hits. So like right here, boom. If I could. Like a mmm. So what we can do is we can add a noise gate. And what a noise gate does is it's anything that we set below like a certain decibel, we can cut it out. So say like it's a little like a breath or a little click or it's a little noise that someone makes, um, it, it, it won't come through. So for instance, let's see, let's just see what decibel this is at. So it's at negative 19, right? Whereas or regular vocals, if, 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 if. negative seven, right? So um, let's set this kind of about 20 and we'll reduce that. Yeah, so what that's doing is it's cleaning up the beginning of the phrases and the end of the phrases. If you have it, the threshold too sensitive, it, in between each word, it's gonna, it's gonna click, right? Because there's uh, silence in between a lot of words we say. So make sure that you don't put it too sensitive, but that's gonna clean up a lot of it, right? Let's just go through and let's just hear how it sounds at like some harmony parts. Let's hear the chorus. Oh, oh, you can go your own way. That sounds really clean, right? Uh, another thing we can do is, uh, you know, do whatever you do at a normal vocal processing. So let's let's add, um, you know, a compressor. Let's add a compressor, just stock. I'll just go do a stock um, voice. Let's just do like vintage, vintage vocal. Yeah, vintage vocal. Here how that sounds. You can go your own way. Okay, we're clipping. We are clipping. We're clipping. You can go your own way. That's so clean, right? You can hear all the harmonies. Uh, and let's also do some uh, simple EQ. Let's, uh, let's go back. 
let's add a new EQ. So that first EQ that we added was for um, to take out the high frequencies and the low frequencies, like the extremes. But let's add a new EQ just to kind of like fix the voices up. This is female voices. Do a, a vintage vocal, whatever. So what this is doing is kind of bring up the mids. Lower this actually. Um, just boost the mids. Let's hear how that sounds. You can go your own way. Yeah, and as you see, that there there is a little sound right here that that exported with it, um, but we are not we're not catching that anymore because we added a, a noise gate, right? So that's how we can fix the vocals. Just to recap, uh, we were getting some weird frequencies up at the top at first um, from you know leftover from like guitars and stuff. So we dropped that out. Uh, we just dropped the low one just to you know make sure whatever. Uh, no big deal there. And then we added a noise gate, which is basically a lock. Anything that makes a pop below this, it won't be heard. And then when the vocals hit, it opens it up and you can hear everything, right? Uh, a compressor that's just very basic, just to kind of bring out the life in the sound. And then a little EQ, a second EQ, just to, you know, it didn't really do too much, but whatever. It looks cool. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's how we can fix up the vocals. And as you can hear, you can hear all the parts. It exports the harmonies. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good. So let's go hear all the guitars from the chorus. So you can hear there's also that weird little high pitch thing again in, in this one. Uh, it's not as bad. It's not as present, but you know, I just dropped it down again just in case. Uh, now, you have to be careful because guitars have really high frequencies, so all these overtones you're, you're literally killing. So you're killing some of the sound. Um, but, yeah, it's worth it because we're not trying to produce a new song. We're just trying to make it sound a little bit better. You can also hear the bass in this, right? You hear the bass. Here's the bass track. Pretty good line right there. Um, but it's coming up in the guitar mix just a little bit. Um, now we can't fix that. Uh, we could go back in RX-8 in the Spectro and just try and find it and, and spend some time in there. But really, I mean, we can just uh, make a small little EQ dip in the lower areas, like 200 to 300. Um, now this isn't going to do too much. It's just going to kind of kill the sound. It's not going to kill the note, if that makes sense. Um, so be careful with that. Don't do too much, right? Just a little dip and that'll help. We're also getting a little guitar bleed. That's okay, that's okay. Um, I mean drum bleed, I'm sorry, drum bleed. Yeah, the drums sound really good. Yeah. Right, so what we're doing is we're just kind of putting some EQ to restore some of the frequencies that are missed, that are dropped out whenever we're kind of reverse engineering this original song. So if I was to solo this original track and then solo the four parts that we split them into, it's gonna sound a little different, right? We're losing some information and we're also kind of putting band-aids on the EQ. Well, that's okay. Um, like I said, this isn't made to, to make perfect studio quality stems. This is really just to, like I said, reverse engineer that song and just to get the parts. Like you're never gonna hear these harmonies in full without this plugin, if that makes sense. Um, It's so clean. It's so clean, right? Um, so, yeah, if you have any other questions, hit me up with that uh, in the comments, and I can try and answer them as far as, like, how to further repair these after you export them. Um, you can also put some uh, 
plugins inserts on the original track before you export that could work as well but just know you won't be able to undo those once you bounce it you just have to go back and redo the whole process of importing changing them and and bouncing them uh but yeah i mean that, that's about all i can say about rx uh, music rebalance uh, i'll give you all some information on how to download it and everything uh, i want to do one quick other one actually i just thought of something i'm going to go download a really old song i'm talking centuries old uh Something that has vocals, and, and we'll see what happens then, because I'm really interested. Okay, here's the big reveal. So I picked up a Bach cantata. So this includes some um, vocals, like a choir, right? It has strings, it has woodwinds, it has oboes, it has timpani, which is percussion. Um, it has everything, and I, I cut them because they're like 30 minutes long, right? So I got a, a nice little basically a verse where it's a dude singing some strings and then it has the whole choir with like everything going I haven't listened yet um this took a little bit longer to process um i assume it's harder to break apart um whatever their algorithm is took a little bit longer on this guy so um but once again it was only took me what 10 minutes to go find the song download it plug it in uh analyze it and now we're here so not long at all usually it only takes a couple so let's just start at the top this isn't going to get copyrighted so we can just go and uh i'll mess up around with the the plugins so here's the original file so here's just strings and when his voice comes in i'll mess with it Yeah, let's see if we can hear his voice right here. That's pretty good. Mmm. Now let's take out his voice. Flawless. You can hear all the strings perfectly good. Wow. Wow, that's insane. All right, let's go to this ending. I'm super excited about this ending. So this is obviously like full on, and this is the end of the cantata. It's got full choir, full timpani, full strings. Everyone's just going full out. Um, all right, who's ready? Here's how it actually sounds. Okay, let's, see, let's just hear vocals. That's so good, guys. That's so good. No vocals. Choir's out. They left. Mmm. Here's just drums. I doubt this will work. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's coming through. So you heard the timpani? Wow, that's crazy. I'll turn this off so this is just bass and... Yeah, there's not going to be really any bass. If anything, it'll be like a double bass and that'll be picked up with other. Oh, never mind, you can hear it. Mmm. It come through. All right, I'll put it, maybe if we blend the other and the bass together. That's insane, guys. That's a Bach cantata deconstructed with RX-8. It took a little bit longer. Uh, it took about five minutes to render instead of like the normal like one minute to two minutes. Uh, but wow, yeah, across all genres. Um, so it is proven. Um, so wow, yeah, 
That's it. That's everything. Wow. Wow. Was that not impressive? That was that was a crazy demo. We went centuries back, uh, all throughout the decades, different genres. It worked seamlessly. It worked flawlessly. Uh, and it's so powerful. You can use it for anything. You can use it. I'm a DJ. I want to remix it. Hey, I'm a, a professional musician. I need to hear a part better. Um, anything. Just appreciation of the harmonies and go your own way. Whatever you need to do, it, 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 it's helpful. Um, now, there are different versions of RX-8 that all have different uh, plugins. Like, remember, I talked about how there's different components. There's de there's de-reverbs, all kinds of audio repair tools. They all have, uh, there's three different versions. Uh, the music rebalance only comes in the top two. Uh, the, the standard version is $399, uh, and the advanced one is $1,199. Uh, those both contain the music rebalance tool. Uh, keep your eyes open. There'll, there'll always be sales and uh you know, discounts, uh, promotions. So keep your eye out. You can probably get it for cheaper. Definitely get it for cheaper. So thanks for sticking around for the video. Hope you learned a lot. Uh, I'm going to have links down in the description for all kinds of different links for all the songs we listened to today for Isotope RX-8, any other resources I think will be useful. Uh, comment down if you have any questions. Uh, I'll try and answer all of them. Stick around and subscribe. I have a lot of fun videos I'm about to put out. Uh, the genre style guide is going to make a comeback. Uh, all these plugin reviews. I'm going to do some tutorials and maybe break down some songs. Uh, as y'all know, I do a lot of drumming, guitar, recently. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Uh, synthesizers, uh, keyboards, film scoring, video game scoring, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we'll get at it. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening uh, and have a good one. All right.